Welcome to Driveline. I'm founder and CEO, Brian Miller, and uh, thanks for downloading our app. So the reason you're watching this is this is the tutorial, and I figured we'll do the tutorial while I'm out for a drive, because you're going to be using this thing while you're driving. So let's take you through a bit about how to use the app. So after you download on the App Store, we're going to eventually have an Android version. Right now, we're iPhone only. You're going to create an account, uh, username, password, accept the usual user agreements. Then you're going to be asked to accept uh, GPS and location services. You need to accept that feature. We've had a few people write to us over the years and go, hey, why can't I map anything? Did you accept the GPS location services? No. Ah, well, that might be your problem. So you're first going to arrive at the feed. Now, the feed is just the open list of everything that's being created by the driveline community. Non-location specific. So you're gonna see things as far away as Australia, Germany, as well as things maybe right down the street from you. And you'll easily be able to see what's nearby because you'll actually be able to look at the cards in the feed and see how far a drive is from you. Your next view is search. Now, search allows you to search for two different things. You can search for individual drives based on a radius from your current location. So if you're traveling in a foreign country and you want to see what's 10 miles from you, you can. Uh, or if you're really just at home on a Sunday morning, like me, well, that's also an option. Next thing is you can search users. Now, users allow you to see not where that person lives or what their current location is. We wouldn't want to invade somebody's privacy. But you can search users based on whether or not they've created drives, again, within a certain radius of your location. Now, the next view is your drive view. And this is probably your most important. And there are two things you can do in this view. You can drop pins. Now, the pin allows you to mark off places you might wanna go, places you might wanna take a drive to. So your other feature on the drive screen, and the most important thing, is the ability to map drives. So all you have to do to start is hit that little green flag. Driveline also lets you customize your profile. Upload pictures of yourself, your cars, make, model, year, whatever you want to share. Don't have to, but it's nice to show everybody what it is you're actually out there driving. From your profile, you can also review the drives you've created, pins you've dropped. Who are you following? Who's following you? So let's say you've created a drive, but you don't love the title you want to add video. Well, we don't want you to try to do that on the side of the road. That'd be dangerous. So instead, go into my profile, click on a drive, you'll see the little edit button. And from there, you can change some facts about it. You can change the title, upload pictures, upload video. Even change the classification of a drive. Fully customize each and every single experience. The drive it function is one of those special features that makes driveline unique. So, let's say you find a drive in your area you want to take. Hit the drive it button, and you'll actually be taken to a special screen that allows you to be routed to that very specific drive, right to the start point. Here's the best part. When you cross that starting line, you don't have to do another step. Driveline will immediately start mapping for you. When you cross the finish line, it stops. This is new. This was actually a more recent innovation. Uh, the ability at least to start and stop automatically. At Driveline, we're working to build a community for enthusiasts. Those people who really love their time behind the wheel or want to understand why driving can be fun. If you only get in your car that you love once or twice a year and take it out on the road, you're missing out. And we want to help you make that time special. So get in your car. Go for a drive. Have some fun. Driveline's here to help you. 